Do you think there there is a, a element of you know because when you look at comedians, what are what are some of the DNAs of comedians? Some of them lived a very hard life, right? Like it yeah. just wasn't a cool upbringing, so they have to figure out a way to how, how to use comedy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of it is maybe your. And you got a person that is such a high expectation person that you want to humor him or perform or something like. What, what do you what do you notice being the DNA of great comedians? Loners, is, lone, like a Robin it, Williams. Would you say Absolutely. that? I don't, I don't know. I'm curious to know what you would say. I think they don't they don't have good you know family. Like it, it's not Ozzy and Harriet. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not that our our family was you know uh, terrible. I always have good memories of it. But yeah, there was some struggles. My dad was a big guy. He wasn't real healthy and. There was some sadness there, you know, and so there's always this combination of, of that going behind the scenes. And so, you know, there was uh, I don't know of any comedians that had like really perfect like where your parents were mm -hmm. um, constantly just listening to everything you said. I think part of being in a big family, too, you get kind of lost and you want to like you know, get more attention, you know. So, I mean. There's all that dynamic going on, you know, with our house, you know. And so, you know, who knows? It, it wasn't like really, I can't say it was like really dark, but mm -hmm. there was this, yeah, it doesn't, I don't think comedians that, that I know have that kind of uh, upbringing where it's a little difficult, a little difficult. And there's either a poverty or, or uh, some kind of thing going on, you know. You, you know, it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm watching uh, a, a lot of you and a lot of, you know, Chris this morning, and I'm going through a lot of the content. Last night, today, I'm driving back. I got an hour drive after I dropped this guy off. And I watched a clip this morning of Adam Sandler singing the song dedicated to oh, your man. brother. I don't know if you've seen that or not. Sure. And let me tell you, yeah. I'm driving, and, yeah. you know, and I'm like, I can't even control yeah. my. I had to pull no. over. I'm like, this the, is the very, end of the song gets ridiculously well, a, emotional. Yeah, I mean, listen, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. look. Uh, uh, so, I, I see uh, uh, one of the lines. I, I took screenshots while I'm driving. So it says, "I saw him in the office, crying with headphones on, listening to a KC and the Sunshine Band song." Yeah. yeah. I said, "Buddy, how the hell is the making you? Uh, how the hell is that making you so sad?" He said. Then he laughed and said. Just thinking about my dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. can tell the the affinity this guy had for his dad, your he brother. Did. I mean, there's got to yeah. be that love, that adoration. Was it that kind of a thing? Yeah. I want to make him proud. Yeah, he loved my. I love my dad. My dad was a great man, and but he had some troubles, you know. And uh, he was, you know. And so I think Chris always wanted to make him feel better. You know, he wasn't very healthy, you know. And so he always wanted to make him laugh and that kind of thing. When somebody's chronically ill like that, you know, it's tough to have that in your family, you know. So he always wanted to make him feel better because he wasn't feeling good all the time, you know. So, you know, I think that's part of it, you know. And I think uh, Chris had a huge heart, you know. He had a huge heart. He always felt uh, for people, he had very empathetic, you know, and that kind of thing. We used to go visit old people. And he wanted to always go visit old people in, in wow. old folks' homes, mm -hmm. you know. And But it was kind of funny, too, because, like, he'd stay too long, you know. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, you know, this, woman is, this woman is pretty sick, Chris. Uh, you know, she doesn't have that, much, doesn't have that long to live now. No, I'm not know. leaving. And, they, and the nurses are <laughs> staying with Barbara the nurses to the be end. like, you know, don't yell and don't, you know, be like, and Chris would be like, hi, I'm Chris. <laughs> in an old age and home. In an old age home. And the lady would be like, one lady is like, ah. Get out of here! <laughs> and then this other, this one lady thought it. She's like, "Are you David, my son?" And he goes, "No, I'm Chris." And she's like, "David?" And he goes, "No, no, I my name's Chris." And I'm like, "This is confusing. Right. Let's get out We're of here. Just argument. say you're David." <laughs> <laughs> say you're David. <laughs> if you enjoyed the short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.